Welcome to the Oglethorpe Asylum, proudly serving the needs of the mentally imbalanced since 1921. This prestigious facility was originally founded by local philanthropist Silas Oglethorpe on October 13th of 1921 as the Oglethorpe Asylum for Debtors and Social Miscreants. The 85 patient rooms, or cells as they were referred to in early documents, were regularly occupied through the mid-1950s. In 1966, Dr. Robert Oglethorpe, Silas's son, took over the asylum when his father mysteriously passed away in his office. The name was then changed to Oglethorpe Asylum for Human Improvement. The new Dr. Oglethorpe, or Dr. Bob, as he insisted on being called, made great strides in the area of psychiatric care. Much of his research focused on experimentation with new pharmaceutical combinations. Hi, I'm Dr. Robert Oglethorpe, but please, Call me Dr. Bob. We here at the Oglethorpe Asylum are thrilled to welcome our media friends to this year's Scream Cam experience. And uh, your cell is going to be ready for you. <laughs> In 1992, at the insistence of the board, Dr. Robert Oglethorpe stepped down as the director and became a resident of the asylum until his death in 1994. His son, criminal psychologist Dr. Arvin Oglethorpe, stepped up to run the facility. Shortly after Dr. Arvin took control, the asylum's most infamous and notorious resident, psychotic serial killer Stu Loomis, also known as The Creature, was convicted and committed to Oglethorpe. Good afternoon. We realize the great responsibility we are taking on by incarcerating and treating this dangerous resident. Mr. Loomis's crimes are unusual and clearly display a psychosis of epic proportions. As you have seen in the various news reports, Mr. Loomis is clearly a danger to all around him. His propensity for skidding the faces of his victims to create human flesh masks has earned him the nickname, The Creature. Due to this increased risk to our staff and our other patients, we've installed a warning system throughout the facility. Mr. Loomis's cell will also be controlled with an electronic lock, which, barring any power failures, should keep him safely confined. We are certain that we will be able to treat Mr. Loomis and hopefully allow the creature to return to society as a safe and sane member. Thank you very much. Thank you.